Hello friends, uh, good morning and uh, today we are doing, uh, the. Uh, we'll continue our discussion on MOSFETs. Uh, so last uh, session uh, we uh, saw uh, uh, what a MOSFET device is and uh, how uh, FETs are classified and uh, we also uh, saw the basic difference between uh, uh, the MOSFET and BJT uh, and uh, FET devices and uh, what uh, why uh, MOSFET uh, are predominantly used and we also saw the different uh, uh, types of uh, categories in case of your MOSFET and uh, we also discussed about uh, the uh, uh, current flow, right? The device structure and current flow for uh, the MOSFET device and today uh, uh, we will uh, see what is the symbolic representation of uh, MOSFET device and uh, uh, yeah, let me go to the learning objective. So today we will uh, discuss, uh, uh, take up the N-channel uh, enhancement type uh, MOSFET and we will see what is the symbol uh, circuit uh, uh, symbolic representation of the circuit symbol and then we will also uh, discuss on uh, the current voltage characteristics and uh, MOSFET region of operations, okay? Um, uh, the last session I was supposed to discuss the current voltage characteristics, but uh, because of uh, the overrun in time, I uh, had to uh, accommodate that in today's session. And so, uh, um, so this is uh, the uh, uh, symbolic representation of uh, MOSFET. As I said, uh, in MOSFET, you can have two variety: the depletion type and the enhancement type, right? And um, uh, so again, when the uh, uh, so you can see uh, it, uh, it it has uh, four terminals, the drain, gate, this um, source and the body. And uh, if the arrow is pointing inwards, then it implies ion channel uh, uh, MOSFET. And if the arrow is pointing uh, outward, then it implies uh, the P-channel uh, uh, device, okay? Or it is a P-channel uh, MOSFET device. And uh, the difference between depletion and uh, enhancement uh, mode uh, MOSFET is, uh, as I said, the channel uh, exists permanently in case of your depletion uh, type uh, MOSFETs. And uh, whereas uh, the channel is uh, physically absent in case of your uh, enhancement type. And it is uh, also, uh, uh, it also induces uh, uh, or it is induced after uh, the application of a positive uh, gate voltage in case of your uh, the channel is induced in case of once you apply a gate uh, voltage above the threshold value for uh, the end channel uh, enhancement type of uh, MOSFET and the negative gate voltage uh, above the threshold uh, value for a P channel enhancement type uh, um, MOSFET. Okay, so, uh, so the channel is actually physically not present and only when you induce a voltage it uh, the uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the channel is induced. Uh, and then um, uh, when it when we look at the operations, okay, uh, the depletion can operate in uh, depletion mode as well as in enhancement mode, whereas uh, the enhancement MOSFETs can only operate in the uh, enhancement mode of uh, operation. And uh, again, if we look at the uh, uh, current flow, okay, so here the current is drain current and the drain current flow on application of uh, the drain to source uh, voltage uh, when uh, VGS is equal to zero. And uh, in case of your uh, enhancement type, uh, practically no current flows on uh, the application of uh, the drain to uh, source, uh, um, I mean, uh, the application of voltage uh, between uh, the drain to source at VGS is equal to zero. And the current flows only when VGS is above uh, the threshold uh, level, okay? So we also saw that in the, uh, uh, last uh, last class, we also saw the how uh, the current is uh, calculated uh, in case of uh, the N type uh, announcement um, MOSFETs. Okay, and um, again the process selection for the operation of uh, an announcement MOSFET transistor is uh, in um, I mean uh, is I mean it's uh, uh, depends on the current uh, voltage characteristics. And these characteristics can be measured by at, uh, at uh, the DC or at a low frequency and thus are called as uh, the static characteristics. And uh, the dynamic effect that uh, limits the operation of a MOSFET at high frequencies and high switching uh, uh, speed, uh, we will uh, discuss that in the further uh, slides, okay? 
so n channel uh, enhancement type uh, you know, mosfet uh, you can see in the first figure and uh, if you observe the spacing between the two uh, vertical lines between the uh, gate and the uh, channel indicate uh, the fact that the gate uh, electrode is insulated from the body of the uh, uh, device okay and the polarity of uh, p type substrate and the uh, uh, n type uh, is indicated uh, by the arrow on uh, the line represented by the uh, body okay so uh, this arrow in also indicates the polarity of uh, the transistor namely uh, as i said it is the n channel device and uh, again if uh, uh, you see the second and the third okay although mosfet is a symmetrical device uh, it is often uh, useful in circuit design to designate uh, one terminal okay as the source okay one terminal as the source and the other as the drain okay and uh, the arrow head is placed uh, on uh, the source terminal okay so if you see here the arrow is outwardly pointed and it is placed on the uh, source device okay the second and the third symbol if you see or uh, diagram okay and here the arrow uh, arrow head is placed on the source and uh, and it also uh, uh, distinguishing it from uh, the drain terminal okay and uh, the arrow head uh, pointing uh, in uh, the normal direction of uh, the current flow and uh, which indicates that the polarity uh, indicates that the polarity of the device uh, that is the uh, n channel mm, and again uh, if we modify uh, or uh, the modified uh, symbol uh, there is no need to show the arrow head on the body line okay here so if you see there is uh, the absence of arrow head here okay and um, and again uh, it uh, clearly indicates your second figure okay clearly it uh, distinguishes the source and the drain and in practice its polarity of uh, the voltage uh, impressed across the device that determines the source and the drain and the drain is always uh, positively related to the source uh, in a n channel uh, fet device okay and um, so let's now move on to uh, the characteristics of uh, uh the um, enhancement type and mos device uh, so we are looking at the id versus uh, vds characteristics okay and um uh, the um, i mean uh, if you uh, uh, i mean uh, the later uh, slide slides we can also see what are the conditions and formulas uh, that are used for uh, the normal operation of uh, uh, the nmos uh, transistor and in each uh, in each of the three uh, possible regions that is uh, say in the cutoff region the triode region and the uh, saturation region okay the first uh, two are uh, useful in case of your mosfet uh, okay and um, uh, that is the cutoff and uh, the triode triode region um, as i said like uh, it can behave as a switch or it can also behave as an amplifier okay and uh, the uh, a uh, mosfet when used to, to design an amplifier as i said it has to operate in the saturation region and the rational for these uh, uh, choices will be uh, again uh, we will take up uh, in the later uh, discussions okay and uh, the um, n uh, mosfet transistor and the uh, dc supply voltage uh, provided are uh, uh, from uh, the vgs okay vgs as well as the vds and um, and both uh, the characteristic curves uh, are uh, shown here uh, one uh, one is for uh, vgs uh, less than uh, less than vo vo v and the other is for vgs which is equal to uh, uh, vo v plus uh, uh, v uh, vt plus vo i mean for vds less than or equal to vo v and vds greater than or equal to vo vo v and also in the other diagram you can see uh, for uh, different um, vgs okay uh, i mean for different uh, vgs value we are uh, able to see uh, the uh, different uh, characteristics okay and um, if you observe uh, Uh, the boundary between the triode region and the saturation region is again determined by uh, whether uh, uh, vds is uh, less than or greater than the overdrive uh, voltage uh, at which the transistor is operating and uh, an equivalent uh, oper and uh, an equivalent um, 
way to check uh, for the region of operation is to examine the relative uh, values of the drain and uh, gate voltage. And again, to operate uh, in the triode region, the gate voltage must exceed the drain voltage uh, by at least uh, um, VOV, okay, voltage, which ensures that the channel remains uh, um, continuous, not, uh, not pinched off, okay. And, uh, and again, it operates in saturation. The channel must be pinched off at the drain end. And pinch off is achieved here by keeping uh, VD higher than VGS minus VOV. Okay, and thus uh, not allowing VD to fall uh, below VG by more than uh, VOV uh, volts. Okay, and um, uh, uh, the IDVDS uh, characteristics for the NMOS uh, transistor when we observe, uh, you see that uh, for uh, uh, each uh, graph, okay, the second figure, you can observe that uh, by setting VGS above uh, VO, VOV um, specific, um, uh, by a specific value of uh, overdrive uh, voltage denoted as VOV1, 2, VOV2, VOV3, okay, so if you observe here, okay, uh, by setting it uh, different, uh, um, uh, values and thus the uh, in turn is the value of uh, VDS at which the corresponding graph uh, saturates and the value of uh, resulting saturation current is di directly determined by the value of uh, VOV, okay, and uh, which is uh, again uh, given by um, uh, half of, okay, so if you see uh, this is given by half KN dash WL by VOV4 square. Similarly, here it is half Kn dash W by L V O V 3 square. Okay. And uh, so when the MOSFET is used uh, to design an amplifier, it operates in the uh, saturation region. Okay. And, uh, and uh, we see in saturation region, the drain current is constantly determined by the VGS or by V O V. Um, and uh, it is independent of uh, VDS. Okay. When you observe. That is, the MOSFET operates, uh, it implies that the MOSFET operates as a current, uh, I mean, as a constant uh, current source when the value of current is determined by VGS. And in effect, the MOSFET operates as a um, voltage, uh, as a voltage controlled uh, current source uh, with the um, uh, current relationship uh, described by uh, uh, the. Um, you are uh, describing ID is nothing but uh, half half of K N dash W by L V O V uh, square, where V O V is nothing but uh, V G S minus uh, uh, V O V. Okay, or I'm sorry, V T. Okay, or uh, V O V is uh, the difference. Okay, or in terms of uh, V O V. Okay, so uh, which is nothing but V G S minus uh, V T. Okay, so thus uh, in uh, this is uh, so this relationship uh, um, underlies that the application of MOSFET as an uh, amplifier and uh, and uh, the nonlinear uh, should be of uh, the concern uh, uh, that is the nonlinear region should be of uh, concern and um, to those interested in designing the uh, linear amplifiers. And, um, and again, if you observe uh, the characteristics of NMOS transistor operating in saturation, we need to note that uh, the plot of uh, ID versus uh, VOV uh, simply shifts the origin to uh, the point uh, VGS uh, is equal to VOV, okay? And uh, um, in view of uh, the MOSFET in the saturation region as a voltage controlled uh, current source, uh, um, uh, this uh, will uh, become apparently short that the circuit uh, is also known as a large signal uh, equivalent uh, circuit. And uh, the um, uh, current source is ideal when an infinite output resistance represents the independent, represents uh, or it is representing the independence in saturation of uh, ID and uh, from uh, VDS. And this, of course, has been assumed in the uh, idealized uh, model of uh, the device operation utilized uh, so far. Okay, um, so now let's move on to um, uh, the cutoff. Uh, so uh, uh, let's see uh, what is the cutoff uh, region or linear region and uh, the uh, saturation region. So cutoff region is the region in which the MOSFET will operate uh, as uh, there is no current flow through it. Okay. Um, 
and in this region a MOSFET behaves like an open switch and is thus used when they are uh, uh, required to function uh, uh, as an electronic uh, uh, switch and uh, ohmic or uh, the linear region is uh, uh, a region where the current uh, IDS increases with the increase in the value of BDS. So when MOSFETs are uh, made to operate in this region, they can be uh, used as uh, amplifiers. Okay, and uh, saturation region is uh, the MOSFETs have their IDS uh, constant uh, in spite of an increase in VDS and uh, occurs once uh, VDS exceeds the value of pinch of voltage VP. So under this condition, the device will act as a closed switch uh, though through which uh, a saturated value of IDS uh, flows. So as a result, this operating uh, region is chosen whenever the MOSFETs are required to uh, uh, perform uh, switching uh, operations. Okay, um, uh, and again, uh, they will have uh, a finite um, output resistance. Okay, when this region, that is uh, the uh, the voltage accelerates, uh, the electrons that reach the drain and the channel will sweep them across the depletion region into the drain, and. Uh, and uh, so uh, the depletion uh, layer uh, widening happens, okay? And the channel length in effect uh, will be reduced. And this phenomena is called as the channel length uh, modulation also. And um, in case of your uh, uh, saturation region, the output resistance is again inversely proportional to the drain current. And uh, so your uh, ID is equal to uh, half of Kn. Okay, half of KNWL by uh, VOV or VG minus uh, um, VOV. Okay, uh, then now we will move on to uh, the different, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the, we'll see what is the uh, region of operation for uh, uh, the different kinds of uh, MOSFETs. Okay, so if it is uh, a N channel um, enhancement type of uh, MOSFET. Um, it, it will uh, the trans uh, the MOSFET will be in the cutoff region when uh, when VGS is less than VT and uh, it will be in the saturation region when VGS is greater than VT and VDS is greater than the pinch off voltage. Okay, and uh, omnic region of operation will be uh, uh, when VGS is greater than VT and uh, VDS is less than VT. Okay, for a P channel uh, enhancement type. Uh, the cutoff region is when VGS is greater than minus VT and uh, the uh, omnic uh, or uh, linear region of operation for a peak channel the enhancement type MOSFET will be VGS is less than minus VT and VDS is greater than minus VT. Okay, uh, VP is the pinch off voltage and saturation region of operation will be when VGS is great, uh, less than minus vt and vds is less than minus vp okay and for a n channel depletion type vgs is less than minus vt and uh, the omnic or linear region of operation will be when vgs is greater than minus vt and vds is uh, less than uh, it is uh, less than vp and uh, the saturation region will be when vgs is greater than minus vt and vds is greater than vp Okay, and uh, P channel depletion type will be when VGS is greater than VT. And uh, the uh, for P channel depletion type, a linear region of operation uh, happens when, when you set VGS greater than VT and VDS should also be greater than minus VP. And uh, for saturation region of operation will be when VGS is uh, less than VT and uh, VDS is greater than uh, uh, minus uh, VP. Okay. Uh, so these are the different um, uh, modes of or regions of operation and now uh, it's the first time. Uh, so let's take a recap of uh, your understanding in uh, uh, the last two, two session, uh, today's session and last session. Um, so uh, the first question would be, uh, it's a quiz time now and so the first question uh, to reflect will be uh, uh, MOSFETs can be used as dash. Can they be used as a current controlled capacitor or as a current controlled, um, I'm sorry, voltage controlled capacitor, current controlled inductor or a voltage controlled inductor? Okay, please uh, uh, write down your answer fast so that uh, we'll come back to the answer in the later uh, session. 
okay so the second question is the effective channel length for a, a mosfet and saturation uh, uh, decreases with increase in dash whether it uh, decreases with uh, the uh, increase in gate voltage or drain voltage the source voltage or it is the body voltage okay um, so let's see if you have answered correctly and uh, the third question is in an n channel uh, enhancement operation of the mosfet the drain current increases when um, is it when uh, vgs is greater than vt or vgs should be equal to vt or vgs should be less than vt okay uh, so tick your right answer uh, fast and uh, the fourth question is the mosfet has dash terminals is it five terminal four terminal three terminal or two terminal quickly uh, um, let me know your answers okay so that we can see if you are able to get right the correct answer so the answer for the first question is mosfets can be used as a voltage controlled capacitor and uh, the answer for the second one is the effective channel length of the mosfet in saturation decreases with increase in the drain voltage okay and uh, coming to the coming to the third question uh, in the n channel enhancement operation of a mosfet drain current increases when vgs is greater than vt and uh, for a mosfet has four terminals okay and uh, so with this we complete uh, the um, ninth session um, let's uh, uh, discuss further on uh, how you are representing the small signal models uh, for uh, MOSFET devices. That is the part uh, two of your uh, MOSFET discussion, okay, in the next session. Thank you.